weather around here is crazy and it was a pretty crazy stretch that we saw the 16 days prior to this where we had only one one hundredth of an inch between that period. Yesterday, we got 30 times that amount in one day. 0.31 inches is what we recorded in Albany. So we're still at around an inch deficit for the month, but we definitely made up for some lost time. And we're at around an inch, 0.14, for the entire month of May right now. So last 24 hours, well, it was a much different day if you were in, say, Pittsfield versus Schenectady or places in Schoharie County. Those areas got very little rain, but east of the capital region, you got a lot more rain. Pittsfield got over an inch, and then parts of eastern New England got much more than that. So we just missed out on this coastal system, most of us, but eastern areas did get scraped by it. Now, all that rain is moving out. We're still seeing some lingering clouds, but they will increasingly diminish as the morning progresses and definitely by the afternoon we'll be seeing a lot more sunshine. And Lake George, still a pretty dramatic and gloomy look right now, but the sun will, as I mentioned, be certainly making a return as we look at that Fryhofer sky cam there in Lake George. Temperatures wise, it's 50 in Cobble Scale, 50 as well in Cooperstown, a pair of fives in Schenectady. It is 50 in Galway and 52 in Glens Falls right now. So can't rule out a passing sprinkle throughout the rest of this morning, mainly in the higher terrain, but any sort of clouds and showers should start to fizzle out. We'll go over to a partly cloudy sky by the afternoon, and that will allow temperatures to get up into the mid-70s today. Then tonight, we'll be seeing clouds increasing a little bit once again with a cold front sweeping on through. A slim chance of a few showers, especially north of the area. But that's certainly the exception rather than the rule. And then tomorrow, similar day, we have a lot of sunshine, especially north of the area. South, parts of the southern Catskills could get a few showers as that cold front I mentioned is actually going to be hanging out over southern parts of our viewing area. So sunnier to the north, cloudier to the south. But pitch to, first pitch tonight at the Joe. Valley Cats looking to end their five-game losing skid. Going to be a nice evening, a bit breezy at times, but the sun will be out. It's an earlier, pit, uh, earlier first pitch today at 5 o'clock. So we also have some uh, smoke aloft that we have to talk about once again from those wildfires out west, which is pretty unusual for May. You don't typically get wildfires this early in the season out there, but that's the world we live in now, and the smoke will be making a return throughout the day today. You might notice if you look way up, a little bit hazy of a look. Same to be said tomorrow across the area, and that haze could also linger around for the day on Tuesday. Not going to affect the air quality at all because it's so high up in the atmosphere, but just will make the sky look a little bit hazy. So then we get into Wednesday, which is going to be the mildest day of the week. We'll probably spike up into the upper 70s to low 80s. Then there's going to be a pretty strong cold front that's going to sweep through Wednesday night, which could bring the chance for some showers, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm. And behind it, it's going to be a lot cooler come Thursday, where we could be stuck in the mid to upper 60s with a pretty chilly breeze. And that's, see that right here, temperatures spiking up on Wednesday, but then falling and tumbling Thursday. We should stabilize by Friday and Saturday. So for this afternoon, 70 to 75 degrees, partly sunny skies, breezy, can be a bit hazy as well, and those wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour. For tonight, 45 to 50 degrees, partly cloudy skies, a stray sprinkle is possible, mainly in the higher terrain to the north. For the day tomorrow, it's similar temperature to today, 70 to 75 degrees, more clouds to the south, could even be a stray sprinkle south of the area, partly sunny for most of the capital region. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast, and it's mainly dry weather. We do have that shower risk Wednesday night into Thursday, and then turning cooler after that.